Okay, uh, Jeremy Medeiros and JP Ruja. Um, we're down at Tuckerstown Bay right now. Uh, it's a pretty exciting time, um, uh, 7th of January, 2020. Uh, we had uh, one of the Cajals, the Cajal Cam um, One Nest, come in last night uh, to lay the eggs. So we're getting ready to go out to Nonsuch Island now and on actually a, quite a nice calm day. Uh, for this time of the year and uh, see who it is and see what body condition they're in. So let's uh, move on along. So Jeremy Medeiros and uh, JP Ruja, um, we're out here on Nonsuch Island uh, in the afternoon on the 7th of January 2020. Uh, so happy new decade everybody, uh, it's not often that you get a chance to say that. Um, but everything is starting to ramp up now. Um, we had our first uh, cahal return and lay an egg very early this year and the 27th of December last year and uh, last night at about 12:16 uh, a.m. just after midnight uh, a Cajal returned streaked in after making 14 or so low passes over the island we could see that on the surface scan and uh, came in and literally they land and almost run immediately into the nest entrance and five seconds later it was in the nest draped with cobwebs and such but none the worse for wear. Now at first um, I thought that usually it's the female bird that returns first and if so usually she waits until the last minute to return and then she lays that egg literally within an hour of her returning uh, back to the nest and that's after five weeks out at sea feeding and intensively to uh, develop this single large egg. Uh, the males meanwhile are out there feeding to develop fat reserves so that they can do the bulk of the early incubation of the egg because uh, the female needs time to go out and recover because this egg is a fifth to a quarter of her body mass. So for a human that's like having a 30 to 35 pound baby. Just think of that and everything you would need to recover too. So the female generally likes to go out within a day or two if the male has timed it right and his actually beat her back if this is the male. We're not sure. Um, we're going to check the band on this bird first and that will tell me if it's a male or a female. Um, and then I'll check its body weight to see what body condition it's in. Is it in good uh, condition to sit for up to two weeks on the egg, uh, waiting for the female to recover and then return so they can start taking turns, shift work. Okay, so I'm going to lift the nest lid out and the bird is resting very quietly on this nest. 
and no egg, so I suspect it is in fact the male. It's quite a big beefy bird, I tell you, and it feels quite heavy, uh, so that's a good sign. Yeah, it is the male, I can see. The band number is E0197, that tells me it is in fact the male bird. So he beat her back uh, this year. And hopefully uh, sh that means she should not be far behind, probably in the next uh, two or three nights. She'll return and she'll find um, her hubby waiting for her, her significant other waiting for her um, to take over, which means that she'll probably leave very quickly after she lays the egg and let him uh, take over that first long incubation shift so she can go out to sea and recover. So that is great. I'll tell you this, bird is in superb condition uh, this year. This male has almost never returned at more than 400 grams of weight. It's usually in the 340 to 370 gram range. Um, I think the previous high was 395. Well, it's over 400 grams this year. And let me get the fine, wow, way over. 440. 443, so that'll be 421 grams. This is the heaviest I've ever recorded this individual bird at. So, 421 grams. That's fantastic. And the band number is E0197. The female's band number is E0212, 212. And these are both birds that I translocated to Nonsuch Island as chicks, uh, about two thirds fledged chicks, two months old, um, way back in 2005, these ones. Um, Kahal Cam 2, those birds fledged in 2000, um, sorry, were translocated as chicks in 2006. This is from the year before, the second year of the translocation. So I raised these guys uh, when they were chicks for the last month that um, before they fledged. Um, fed them daily on fresh squid and anchovies and um, saw them, you know, they came out at night for about a week before they fledged and imprinted on this area, flew out to sea, and then the male and female both returned three to four years later, paired up together in this burrow. The male, in fact, came from, uh, I believe, the nest, the Cajal Camp 2 nest. It's very close to here. Uh, the female from a little further afield, I think, up the hill a little bit. I'd have to check. The, there's so many birds now I've, I've, that I've moved in this way. But he looks in just fantastic shape. A lot of the feathers look like they've been newly molted. They don't show any signs of wear. There's not that brown coloration that's characteristic of um, worn and old feathers. You can see the wingtips here, they cross. And you can see this tail, which has flared a lot of white in the outer tail feathers. And it's relatively long. The two central tail feathers are quite long. The two central ones look like the oldest feathers. They have a brown tinge and they're a little worn away. But the bird generally looks in fantastic shape. So I think what I'm going to do to disturb them as least as possible, I'm going to check the nest. There's no pebbles. The nest looks great. I'll replace the lid and the light array. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Okay, and then I will actually replace them into the entrance to the nest, which is just down here. It's, um, the nest entrance tunnel is about uh, seven feet long, six to seven feet long on this nest. So here is our male uh, E0197 um, Kahau um, from this, um, the R831 or the Kahau Cam 1 nest in great condition, heaviest is ever recorded. And I think having that year off with no chicks because they failed last year has actually given them a chance to really get into top condition for this year, which is a good sign that they uh, hopefully will be successful breeders. So uh, Jeremy Madeiras, and I'm going to replace them into this. Okay, there we go. There, and she, he should reappear uh, momentarily on the Kahal Cam 1 video cam. 
Great, so everything looks good. It is the male as we suspected. And when we saw it hadn't laid an egg almost immediately, I really thought that was gonna be the case. So he's come in early and now he'll just be waiting for um, his mate to return. And because it's almost full moon, that might be delayed for a couple of more nights. Um, but I should think uh, certainly by about Friday night, uh, she should return. She'll wait for the first overcast period and it's fairly overcast now. So who knows, she might return tonight. But I would say anywhere from one to three nights and she should be in. He most likely will just wait there, settle down. He's got plenty of weight. He could sit there for two weeks without eating now. He's got enough fat reserves saved. So he'll wait for her to come. And then when she lays, he'll take over incubation immediately. Okay, so it's exciting part. Uh, the, the breeding season really starting. This is the, this is you know the most exciting part of the whole breeding season. And Jeremy Medeiros and JP Ruja uh, signing out from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda. Um, not bad for the beginning of the new year. All the best, and uh, everybody have a great afternoon.